today in the boot guy we are looking at the YRX Up Hollow Casual Dress. So all you guys that are here to see this casual dress boot, I'm going to do you guys a favor because I have been listening to you guys. You are a specific group of guys out there who really let me know what you think of my videos when I'm doing dress casual boots. So in the honor of all you guys, in the honor of the season, in the honor of this boot, I'm first going to show you the unboxing of the boot so you can see all the intricate details of the packaging that goes into the boot. Then I'm going to show you what the boot looks like on. And if you want to stick around for the full review for what I think about this boot, you can feel free because there will be at the end of all that. All right, so let's get started with the unboxing. Thank you. 
All right, so that was what it looks like on, and that's what the boot looks like coming out of the box. It's pretty handsome. There is a lot of thought and design and just all those little things that go into creating packaging for footwear today, they have put it into this boot so that you guys feel like you're really getting your money's worth. And it shows because this is a nice casual boot. All right, so let's start right here. Let's start with the sole because the sole is interesting. We've seen soles like this before. If you've watched my channel on casual dress boots, this rubber in the middle, rubber in the heel, and then the full leather outskirts of the sole, and it's beautiful. The boots feel great when you have these on. They don't, they don't feel slippery at all. If you're walking across wood floors, marble floors, tile floors, or even across industrial type rug, like you're gonna find inside an office, a law office or just a regular business office. So that's a plus side to having this type of sole. The other thing is it's a low profile sole. So you're really close to the ground. So you feel connected with every step. Unlike a lot of dress boots out there, they try to give it a boot sole, but they lose the whole dress appeal. YRX with the Apollo, they maintain the whole dress aesthetic all the way through, not only in the look of the boot, but down to the feel and the construction. So the boot is fully welted, so that means you can rebuild this boot, you can resole this boot, you can add all kinds of new parts to this boot if you need to. But in my personal opinion, you're probably going to be so careful wearing these boots that the resoling or the rebuilding or crafting process that is going to happen because of the construction is not going to happen for many years to come. So when it does finally become that time to do it, you're probably going to have to rebuild a lot of this boot. So you're going to have to find yourself a really good shoemaker. Now, because of the way it's constructed, it's possible. So if you find that guy, please comment below and let us all know what shoemaker you're using and if he's doing a good job on rebuilding these boots for you. All right, so let's get to that upper. Yes, that cap toe, outstanding, beautiful. That's what drew me in. That's what made me want to review this boot because I like the aesthetic, the heel and the cap toe. But the use of the cashmere wool. Now, this doesn't offer any sort of structural anything. Cashmere is not a good material to have down on the foot, but god damn does it look badass. That is just beautiful. This whole aesthetic really ties back to a turn of the century look. This really ties back to a time when men wore spats and men had tailored suits every single day of their life. This pulls that together. Who do I see wearing this? Somebody that really dresses for a living. Somebody that takes such great pride in the cut of their pants, the cut of their shirt, the cut of their hair, and just the way they either walk out of the house or they walk into a room. That's the guy I see wearing this, the guy that really wants to turn some heads. And this is the type of boot you can do that in. This is the type of boot that's gonna get you that attention. Okay, so when we take a look inside, that's where you're going to get your structural support from because calf skin on the inside of the boot, a nice little cushion pad. It's a tiny piece of poron. It's a lighter weight piece of poron that has some leather layer to the top of it. And it feels good. It feels more comfortable than your common high-end dress shoe, which you're going to find a hard leather insole, a hard leather sole, and all that. YRX has put a little bit more thought into the time you're going to spend inside this thing. Even if you're just sitting at your desk in an office, they still know that you have to get up from time to time, whether it's to get a cup of coffee or meet with a client. They've made it comfortable so you're not thinking about the boot and other people are because they look this good. All right, so let's talk about the lacing on this. Let's talk about this whole shape and construction. This is really tight. So that is why they send along this beautiful shoehorn inside the whole box. Because guess what? This is the kind of boot that you need a shoehorn to get on or else you need to unlace it all the way to the end and lace it back up because it really sucks up around your ankle. It really tightens up and gets in there. So it feels like it's part of you. And the reason being, of course, for guys that wear a slimmer cut pant, it can really fall nice and create that whole aesthetic. Unfortunately, from what you guys saw at the beginning of the video, I don't wear slim cut pants. I cannot pull it off. I am just too large of a man to be wearing anything that is fitted like that. I just look like a stuffed sausage, so I don't even play in that realm. But you guys that can pull that look off, 
you guys that can, you know, really dress for a living, this is the type of boot you want because it fits into that style. This falls right into that slim, thin line that you guys are looking for. And you know what? It's pretty damn nice. All right, last but not least, most important part, the part that I feel is most important about any boot, about any footwear, is discussing how they fit and how you should buy them. Now, out of the box, this is a size 12. I wear a size 12 in every other boot that I review. All my work boots, all my casual boots, all my Western boots, I'm usually spot on a 12D, no problem. Safety toe, non-safety toe, all of that included into that whole statement, size 12 is good. This thing in a size 12, you guys might have noticed by watching the beginning of the video, I have on two different socks. I have on a thin, casual wool sock, and I have on a thick, everyday hiking work sock. The thin, casual wool sock, yeah, it felt tight. It's brand new. It should feel tight. It should feel like it's grabbing your foot. But would it be comfortable all day? Probably. In a nice dress wool sock, your size, whatever that might be, whatever you got on your foot right now, your size I'm sure is going to fit great. If you're somebody who's looking to wear a little bit more of a cushion sock because you have to spend a lot of time on your feet standing up, say you're in Say you're a lawyer, or say you're some sort of attorney or something like that where you're standing up trying to plead your case all day, I would say go a half size bigger so you can either put in a nice heavy heel and toe thick casual sock that gives you lots of cushion and lots of sweat absorption, or I would say just go with your size and just let it form around your foot. So one more point that I really do want to bring up here is the cashmere. And yes, how are we going to clean the cashmere? I have no idea how to clean this stuff. This is something completely new to my whole wheelhouse. So as I start wearing them, as I start getting out in the world, making this a daily boot for me to try and figure this whole cleaning and taking care of process out, feel free to contact me on Instagram and see what I'm doing about keeping this thing looking good. So that's the Apollo from YRX Boots in this beautiful gray color. Hey, if you're currently wearing a pair of these with the cashmere, please comment below. Let us know what you're doing to take care of them. If you bought a pair of these and you're unhappy, also comment below. If it's a size issue or something like that, please, we want to know. Put your comments below. Hey, if you're interested in seeing some detailed photos, not only of this boot, but of the other boots that I have in my whole stable of what I'm wearing daily and where I'm at, swing by my Instagram, subscribe to my Instagram feed, even contact me there on Instagram if you need a answer to some question ASAP. Gentlemen, if you enjoy what I do here on the Book Guy Reviews, if you enjoy all my videos, all my reviews, even some of my road trip videos, please think about supporting me below by either buying me a beer or buying me a cup of coffee. Throw me a buck, throw me five bucks, buy me a whole keg. Hey, whatever you want to do, I'm going to use it for this channel. It's not going back in order to do something else with. It's only to keep this channel going in order to keep that camera running that microphone working and these lights on, I need a little support. So think about supporting me on the Boot Guy Reviews by clicking those links below. If you're about to pick up a pair of these Apollos and you've got a size question, shoot me over a personal message on Instagram and let's see if I can help you pull that trigger on buying a pair of these. All right, until the next time, I'm the Boot Guy. Thanks a lot for watching.